there's no better example than this. Today, this is known as the spade-toothed whale, with the scientific name Mesoplodon traversi. But it wasn't always known as this. It took 130 years and the discovery of two skulls before the true identity of this whale was really known. This jawbone with the two teeth was all that was known back in 1872 when the specimen was collected from the Chatham Islands. In 1873, Hector, the guy that started our National Museum, he believed it to be a particular kind of whale. In fact, he believed it to be something called a strap tooth whale. Gray, a scientist over in the UK, went, no, yes, I don't think so. I think it's probably something else, something different, something new. And he said, I'm going to give it a new species name and did. So he effectively called it Mesoplodon travisi. This specimen was found back in 1872. Not another specimen was found, and really until the 1950s. Another skull was found off Chile in the 1980s, and we were able to link those three specimens using genetics, and those two skulls using morphology. So we knew we were dealing with the same species. Only then we were able to go, hey, wait a minute. Back in 1874, Gray, sitting in his office in the UK was right. So because of that, we had to resurrect the species name Mesoplodon travisi. One day, hopefully, we'll get to see a live specimen of this, of this animal and be able to uncover all sorts of new information.